y'all, you have to know who you, you, you have to know who your circle of friends with. Listen, and I know we all, I should have tagged this, do you really know your friends? Hello, Yolanda. Do you know who your real friends are? Friends, how many of us have them? Like your real friends. This is a senseless killing that should not have happened. I'm doing great. Should not have happened. I don't care whether drinking was involved, drugs was involved. I, I Listen, when I go places and I know alcohol is involved, like Sunday night I went to my friend party, by 8 o'clock I was out of there. Why? Because people start acting crazy after a certain time when they start drinking. And I know what you're saying. You're probably saying, well, they drink. Yes, it's sad. They drink during the day too. Yes, they do. But sometimes you have to remove yourself out of situations. I don't do a lot of travel. Well, I travel with my, my family. They drink. And I know, you know, I know about their drinking and stuff. But I'm saying, and I don't know. I've been trying to figure out the history of how long she's been knowing these friends. And no, I don't want to talk to my child again. And stuff like that. I haven't found that, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep um, looking. So, yes, yes. It was said it was alcohol. So, since I have 65 of you guys on here, we're going to listen to her mother speak. And she never made it back home. Robinson's mom, Salamandra, says within 24 hours of her daughter's arrival, she was dead. Figuring out how or why has only added to the family's nightmare. It started with a frantic call from Robinson's friends. They said she wasn't feeling well. She had alcohol poison. They couldn't get a pulse. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. It's when the family made calls to the FBI and Mexican authorities that they learned of another potential cause of death. And the autopsy came back. They said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol. Said that she had been, um, she had a broken neck. And they her spine in the back was cracked. They cracked her spinal cord. She had been beaten. Salamandra says the entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her daughter's body there. Nearly two weeks and $6,000 later, her body is back home. But answers have been hard to come by. You know, I know that's not going to bring my child back, but I want something done about it. Queen City News has spoken with officials at the U.S. State Department in Mexico who refute the claim that Robinson was murdered, saying the police's initial indication is that there was no clear evidence of foul play. So the Here in Charlotte, the family play, refuses murdered. to believe their daughter's death was an accident, and they vowed to find the truth of what happened that night in Cabo. No one told the same story, so I never believed them anyway. Queen City News obtained Robinson's death certificate, which wow, lists the cause of death as severe spinal cord injury and atlas luxation, which is instability in the uppermost vertebrae. In the section where police could have noted any sign of intoxication, it says, person found unconscious on her living room. And they didn't call us to the river last minute. And then on top of that, they said the maid found them. The group stayed here at Villa Linda 32, a property listed on CaboVillas.com. A rep with the company says the group called the concierge for help Saturday afternoon. The concierge called a doctor who gave CPR. Robinson died at 3 p.m., an estimated 15 minutes after her injury. We obtained a list of seven guests who signed into the villa. We called a list of seven guests who signed into the villa. We called the phone numbers they left with the company. Some numbers weren't valid. Please leave your message for... And others went to voicemail. So they're not answering the calls from the news. So the death certificate has a section that reads, was it accidental or violent a death? Yes, was typed into that section. So it's still not clear. I never talked to my child again. She never made that home. Robinson's mom. Right. <clears throat> You're right, the, you said the video floating around, and I saw that, I'm not going to put that video up, I saw the video, well, the video that I saw, the video that I saw has, uh, wait a minute, y'all, it, you can hear her screaming, and you can hear them saying, uh, fight back, fight back, fight back, and I'm like, she wasn't fighting back. And it was more than one voice on there. You can hear them fight back. And then she was naked. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. We're going to talk about this because, y'all, this was senseless. And this is something that could have been avoided. Now, whether they was playing and did not know that they were going too far, it went too far. This is why... This is why I don't do all that play fighting. I don't be around people who fight. And I know some people be like, 
you know, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Some people think it's okay to fight. Now, I, I, I'm not a fighter. Child, you hit me, I'm gonna just call the police and let the police handle it, okay? Because I'm not going to jail or here for nobody. And I mean that. You come walk up on me, I'm letting the police, now if you hit me, I'm gonna defend myself. But other than that, I'm gonna let the police handle it. <clears throat> I don't hang with people that be out fighting because a straight bullet will hit anybody. And whatever happened over in Cabo that night, nobody knows but the people that's there. Like the, uh, the news people say they're not answering the phone. The moms say they're not answering the phone. When they originally called the mom, um, they told, like the mom say, each and every one of them had different stories. All of them gave different stories. All of them gave different stories. So now the police are saying it was no foul play. The police are saying there was no foul play, but how do you leave? At least one of them should have stayed over there. Am I sure I'm her mother? What? I, I don't understand that. I didn't say I was nobody's mother. 